Hello and welcome back to Lander 98 channel. Today we're going to be looking at how to get rid of these extrusions in, well, more so when you use the thicken command so then you can actually make your model usable to 3D print, we get these coming on. Now we're going to be using this model because I actually have it in my hand here. Now, I did not do this tutorial yet. This is something that I just I just thought about and I gave it a shot and it it worked, but it is going to uh it's a little troublesome and we'll come across that then later. But this is the Crown Vic and basically there's two ways of doing it. One, you just leave it and then you sand it um like I did. No idea if I'm showing it cuz the uh Face cam actually doesn't show up till I'm edit during editing, so it probably is awful. And then the second way is going to be how we are going to figure it out today. Now it is going to be messy, so I would advise that you do. Uh, in this case, I uh, for video purposes, I uh, this, I made this a disposal file, so in case it fails, it's getting deleted. But if it works, it's probably getting deleted anyway. So. Uh, make sure you file save as just in case uh, we ruin it because uh, it sucks having to lose a model and having to restart or ruining it beyond uh, belief so make sure you file save and let's get into it okay so the first thing uh, at least from what I tried uh, we kind of want thicken to be the first thing now usually when it comes to making these and I definitely did this in the tutorial the first thing to do is to mirror it so okay so it looks like it doesn't kill itself when I do that so that's okay we're actually going to go back to flat because I tell you what oh boy we're actually going to do this backwards so we are going to delete thicken we're going to delete subdivision and we're gonna delete mirror solidify first 1.2 is the number I want then we want mirror clipping yes and subdivision that's the part that failed Ooh. I think I know how to fix this. Um, this is why I made this a disposal file. Let's see. That is disgusting. Great, now I just have a big freaking line going down the center of it. Okay, so that's the reason why this was failing the first time. Either way, uh, okay. So other than this big freaking crack that probably won't show up during uh, 3D printing, it probably will, but it'll at least be filled in with paint. Okay, so what we're going to do is the apply button, which basically you get one shot at this. That is why we are making this a disposal file. So we're going to save this and we are going to hit apply. Now once you hit apply, you cannot go back and change it. Now you might be able to hit the control Z to bring it back. However, that's dangerous. Doing any control Z when you're not in the tab function here is dangerous. Okay, so basically what hitting apply allows us to do Oh my god, that's disgusting. Why is it so bad? That should be like flat down there. Oh, that's why. Yeah, because that basically rounds that off. Maybe we'll have to... Okay, that fixes that. Okay, either way... Now that we applied the thickness constraint, what we can do is we can now actually modify the thicken because beforehand you can't modify any thickness. So what we want to do is we want to, well, let's not hit that, move this out of the way because basically this thickness is being caused by the headlight right here. So what you want to do 
is move it. And we are going to then test this with a uh, repeteer host, make sure that uh, we didn't destroy the model. Okay, so we got rid of, and because it's mirrored, it does it on both sides. Now, there was something, or maybe not. Thought there was something sticking up. Okay, gotta fix a couple other things. Oh, that's why it made everything so round. It's because, yeah, once you apply the thicken, it's a pain, I understand. However, now that we're doing this, let's adjust the wheel wells. That looks much better. I can do that over here too. Okay, so that actually helped a lot. Uh, what about in here? So that we can smoothen out the hole. Bam, that's an actual circle going through. Look at that. This works. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to file save, and we're actually going to export this. Export the disposal file. Okay, now I'm going to go to Repeteer Host, and we are going to run it, see how well this works. See if uh, how noticeable that uh, that crack in the middle is, and hopefully we don't get a message saying that it is not manifold anymore. Crown Vict, the disposal file. Oh come on! Well, you know what? Maybe it will get fixed. So now we're going to click this and wait 15 hours for it to do this. So we're probably going to jump cut. Okay, so it turns out the only thing that was claimed to not be manifold was this crack. It was indeed this crack in the center. Now, I can't really tell if that same crack. Uh, I guess, yeah, technically it is going through the center. Uh, we'll take a look at the layer height when we're doing it. But those wheel arches are f gorgeous. My god, they were disgusting. I'll have to get, bring the other one out to show you. But what we're going to do is we're going to slice it, and we're going to see... A, it, does it print nice here? And secondly, does this ruin it? Because if that ruins it, this kind of destroys the whole purpose of the video. Because the whole purpose of this is for this to be 3D printable, but if this right here gets ruined, I'm gonna cry. Unless you gotta also, you know what, we'll, we'll go back in and we'll see if we can, if undoing the mirror helps the this cause. I mean, it connects. It's kind of annoying, but it connects. Okay. Okay, clown. I mean, it works. Uh, let's go back. We'll have to delete it because once you do the fixturing, what if we turn that off and we apply the mirror? Nope, I still get that. Yeah, that's just a straight up deep crack. I mean, if you want, you can always go and fish it out, but, uh, control... 
Okay, it brought it back. And applying that doesn't help either. And I gotta load that back up, but either way, we figured out that it works. We just get an annoying crack going down the center, which uh, we'll fill with paint. It's a pretty minute crack, and I'm sure we can you can easily fill it with paint. So yeah, that was that. We finally figured out how to get rid of the annoying stuff here. Now we got an, a new annoyance, but what can you do? Not really much. It's because we uh. It's because of the subdivision when you apply the thickness. And that's why it did uh, this down here. It was rounding that because of the thickening. So I don't really know any way around that. Mm, unless maybe you were to apply... What if... Can we go way back? I didn't want to go that way back. Okay. We were able to go way back. Except why is it still doing this? There we go. Why is it doing that? Is it because that's first? Okay, well, we're going to go this far back. Oh, that worked. That worked a lot. Okay, I think I figured it out. Oh, there's more. Seriously, why? Oh, wait, or no, that's something popping up. Interesting. Okay. Eh, that means I gotta do the wheel wells again. <laughs> Save. Export. Whoops. Hey, that means that if we load this up, it shouldn't tell us that it is. Oh, it's still. Oh, come on! That's non existent. Okay, we're going to end the video here. We basically got the premise down about how to get rid of, well, how to get rid of the pesky stuff that comes up. And it is doing the dangerous thing of first uh, apply the subdivision, then apply thickness. Yeah, it looks like kind of still had problems down here, but it's all good. All right, so hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new to my channel. You know, we post more content like this, and also all the old little big planet stuff, and hopefully I can actually get to videos of the cars driving around and painting. So, well, more painting, I guess. So, hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.